Hi everybody, Jen here doing another Project Life uh, video. This is March the 28th to April the 3rd and it's the week after we got back from Hawaii. Um, I think we were feeling um, feeling the need to be outside after having been outside so much in Hawaii and so uh, it actually happened to be sunny and so we we had a pretty uh, adventurous weekend and I thought that would work really good with my um, Wild Allie Edwards story kit. So that is what I am using. There's tons of really cute and fun cards in here and so um, I had trouble deciding which ones to use um, because there were so many that I liked. And the colors are really pretty and soft but um, they work really well with nature photos as well and so uh, I like that a lot and I'm actually going to use it in the next week as well which is laying on my desk. Uh, I'm going to try to get two videos done today because I'm away next weekend and then um, I'll keep my promise of having one a week. So because I wanted to use this kit I wanted to just like seriously just use this kit. So that's what I'm going to do and between the two weeks I'm going to mostly use it up. Um, so these are the little chipboard pieces that come with it and I'm just placing that one there so it hides a really annoying thing on the visor of the car which is handy. And then there's these little wood laurel pieces and they're not really something I would typically use but they certainly work with the theme and so I'm actually going to use both of them um, on this layout and kind of just use them, you know what I mean? And um, I'm still not 100% on them, but they're used and I'm happy. So there you go. <laughs> um, so I'm going to start with my date card. And what I was trying to do is sort of match up that um, tanny gray color. And I didn't have an exact match. Um, I just wanted to put that, um, use that for my date. And I end up using some little tile stickers in a minute. So I wanted to use excuse me, those ones right there because they were actually pretty close to the orange but I didn't have any twos and I needed a 28 and I really didn't want to mix the font because there's already that phrase on there and so I just felt like it was going to be too much to have that sort of laurel and then mixed fonts and you know like three different fonts and so I ended up finding these little tiles. I think these are uh, I want to say basic gray maybe. They're pretty old. They've been in my stash for a long time and I'm going to use those for the whole thing and I'm not 100% sure that I really like how I ended up laying them out but um, I kind of went back later thinking about pulling them up and they really weren't pulling up so this is how they're going to stay. Uh, I'm going to fix that three so it's not quite so crooked. There you go. And what I'm going to do is put March on its own line and the 28 on its own line and that's sort of what I didn't like. I wish I had just put March 28th together and then just the little, you know, two squiggly line by itself. But yeah, trying to move it was not working. So that's okay. Um, this kit also came with these really pretty little journaling spots. They have like silver foil on them. So I'm going to use just pieces of them on the bottom of a couple of these and share share in between and um, I'm even going to keep the little p extra piece little strip and I'm going to use that next time. You'll see what I mean in a minute. So I am as I usually do just skipping from card to card sticking things down going crazy and here I'm going to use the bottom half of that one which is actually the top of the tag where the extra line is and I what I wanted to do was hide the line with this big long chipboard piece and then line that up with the bottom of the photo. And then I have a little strip left right there. And I'm gonna stick that one down and I'm just gonna write because that's all I'm gonna do on that card. So I'm just gonna write that. This was the first time we had the top open on my husband's mini. And there I'm gonna stick that other one down and then I got that little strip. I'm gonna save it. I'm going to stick this chipboard piece down and the backing wasn't coming off so I just ripped it off and stuck it down with some quick dry and here's where I'm going to use the other laurels and I think it looks fine um, but obviously you can tell from the way I'm saying that it's fine. <laughs> so I'm looking for adventure and I find wildflowers so I stick that down on that really nice photo there and then I find that take a walk on the wild side and that was just me taking a lunchtime walk because it was nice out because literally like we just had to be outside. After being in Hawaii for two weeks and getting all that sun uh, we got home and it was like we just have to be outside. So I finally found the adventure I was looking for and then I stuck, uh, what does that say, I can't tell, into the wild on the top as well. 
And then I decide to have a look at my stamps. So there was a little one that came with it. It has a butterfly in the middle. It doesn't really go with what I'm doing. So I'm gonna cover that up with that chipboard piece that I had picked out for this one. But I liked the sentiment around it. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna stamp it off and I'm just using a little piece of chipboard to stamp right off the photo. And once it's dry, I'm gonna put the chipboard piece over top of the butterfly and hide it, but still get the words that I was looking for, which was, um, something about exploring. I really should have it in front of me, sorry. It's uh, over on my desk because I'm already working on the next week. So just cleaning my stamp off, putting that one away, and then pulling out the other uh, larger set and looking at what I could do with that. So there's this right one here that says uh, super good times and it was too big to fit so what I'm gonna really awkwardly do is try to just mask it off I, I don't know I was having a hard time with this I think I wasn't thinking or trying to get it done quickly so I'm just gonna try to mask off the super and I end up cutting off a little bit of the top of the good times there so see I'm just trying to cover I don't know I was having a tough time <laughs> And when I peel it off, I cut off a bit of the top of the word. So I'm actually just going to put a word, or like a phrase sticker on top of it and make it look like I did it on purpose <laughs> later on. I am nothing but good at hiding mistakes, right? Yeah. So the next thing I'm going to do is I decide I want to put the little compass in the middle of this. So this was a four by six card I cut in half and I'm going to um, put it side by side in the three by four pockets and of course I decide later that I want to put the compass so I just used some washi on the back and uh, stamped it and then just took the washi off no problem and it looks like I uh, did it just fine uh, if you're wondering these are brand new stamps so I'm actually rubbing them on my hand if you saw me doing that I'm just rubbing them on my hand a little bit I find that that helps um, the first time if you haven't used them before it just helps get a clearer image so that's what I'm doing so I'm just writing the name of the park, keeping it quite simple. And I uh, had just gone away there and uh, looked up the name of the restaurant and then the name of this trail that we were on. Um, and so, yeah, as I said, I was keep keeping it simple, just writing locations and um, using the cards to just explain a little bit more about everything else going on. Uh, most of these photos are from the weekend. Uh, because it was so nice and because we'd been away we were both my husband and I and the kids like you get back to school and you're busy and so we didn't really take a ton of photos during the week so most of these are weekend photos this time so here I just wanted to put something on this one so this one says go outside I'm just gonna stamp it and then stamp it off twice and then I felt like it needed something so I'm gonna go back to the chipboard um, or am I going to stamp first? No, I'm going to leave that there because I know I want to do it. But I just feel like it needed something. So I just pulled this little orange um, chipboard piece that has leaves on it. And I'm going to put that down on here. I just felt like it needed a little something more. And I really didn't want to go outside the kit. So I just, it works just fine. It just adds a little bit more color. And then I found this one that says stay wild. And this was a walk that I did with the kids in the middle of the week when my husband was away. It was nice and sunny. I picked them up after school and we just hiked up to this top of this hill. It only takes about 20 minutes to get up to the top of it or something. And there's just a beautiful panoramic view. So that was, that was pretty awesome. Alrighty, what have I got left here? I am pretty close to being done. Oh, I just have this card. So I'm going to actually do my journaling all the way across so that it reads across and I'm gonna skip a line and I actually found an error on this card. It's missing a line. You'll see me in a second. I'm gonna pause right here and I'm gonna go, see, there's no line in the middle there, you see it? Right there, so I just pretend like there is and keep going. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I found a mistake. Um, yeah, so this is just talking about exactly what I've said. After all the rain and being away, it was nice to get outside. And so we did all this stuff on the weekend and that even doing grocery shopping with the top down made it seem like less of a chore. So here's my close-ups for you guys. I hope that you enjoyed and um, for I won't be back again until next Monday probably so I want to wish everybody in Canada a very happy Canada Day long weekend we're going to be um, visiting our family uh, off the island uh, it's also my youngest son Connor his um, 
12th birthday this week he was actually born on Canada Day because I felt like I should get fireworks you know for giving birth to children so both of my kids were actually born on a day where there's fireworks pretty smart of me huh so anyways everybody have a great Canada Day long weekend I hope you enjoy the video look my nail polish matches that beautiful flower <laughs> and I'll talk to you guys again real soon bye now